and welcome to Lentadale Vineyard. My wife and I, Janet, have been running the vineyard um, for about 12 years now. We're based in Margaret River, um, about two and a half hours drive to the south of Perth. We're on the Indian Ocean coast and we're coming into autumn in Western Australia. One of the things we get asked a lot about at the cellar door is how the winemaking process works, both still and sparkling wine. So we're, in this video, we're gonna sort of show you a few of the things actually in action. Okay, first of all, we're gonna go across and meet up with Peter Stanlake, our winemaker who looks after our still wine, makes our still wine for us. He also makes the base wine for our sparkling. So off we go to meet Peter. My name's Peter Stanlake. I'm a consulting winemaker for Linterdale Wines. Uh, this is Vineyard Cove, a uh, contract winery uh, where Linterdale wines are made. Uh, we're here at the beginning part of the process after the grapes are picked. Uh, they are received here in the large yellow bins that you can see around the place uh, and then the winemaking procedure begins. This is the receival hopper where the grapes are tipped. From the receival hopper, the grapes uh, go down into the crusher where they are destemmed and the uh, grapes are pumped uh, to one of a number of different kinds of um, fermentation vessels and that's where the fermentation takes place. This is the larger scale red fermentation area and as you can see, it's uh, designed really well to uh, facilitate uh, the pumping over and wetting of the skins and also to remove uh, the skins uh, once the fermentation has finished uh, through the doors at the bottom and into the press uh, with as little effort as possible. Uh, this is the outlet of, uh, from the crusher and the, the must pump uh, which uh, feeds the fermentation uh, and the fermenter tanks. Um, this is where the grapes will find their way through all the cooling and hoses uh, all the way up here to the top deck and then go into uh, the top of the tank and fill it up ready for the red fermentation and skin contact and um, extraction of colour. I'm adding a small amount of enzyme to the red fermentation to aid with extraction and on we go. Okay, what we have in here is a room full of um, open fermentations. So, um, this is uh, another great part of Flyingfish Cove where small uh, volume fermentation and wine making is very, very well looked after. And Lentadale wines uh, all come to open fermenters and uh, hand plunged and uh, thoroughly maintained uh, during the uh, fermentation process. Uh, this process is called plunging. Uh, plunging involves getting the cap of skins that forms uh, that the skins are lifted up by carbon dioxide and they're pushed down into the wine and the wine uh, and juice uh, soaks uh, the skins and extracts more um, colour and flavour from the skins. Uh, at Flying Fish Cove uh, we have a, a machine to do the plunging of the skins and this machine has been imported at great expense for the United States and its name's Audrey. <laughs> okay, this is uh, the wine press. So we just saw uh, the skins being permeated into the wine and extraction taking place. So what we have here is uh, the press and inside there is a large uh, membrane, uh, like a, a piece of material, which is inflated with air and presses the skin up against a series of screens and so all the skins are left behind and the wine comes out down here and that's pumped away to the barrels 
uh, that we will describe or other containers that are being used during the process. Uh, the next part of the process after pressing is to have uh, the wine uh, go into some form of container. Some people choose to use oak barrels, um, some people uh, choose to use tanks uh, in the small batch process, smaller volumes of wine. They almost always go into um, a, a mixture of new and used oak barrels. The universal thing behind oak barrels is that they're, they're very expensive. Um, they're largely imported from France um, and oak is the wood of choice because once oak is seasoned and uh, uh, toasted it actually comes out with a, a big variety of different flavours uh, and tastes. So uh, a heavily toasted barrel might well taste like cinnamon or nutmeg.